Hi friends! Welcome back to our channel if you've seen our videos before, and if you're new, my name is Abby, and today I am going to be doing a Funko Collection video! I want to say it's been almost two years now since I did my last Disney Funko Collection video. I think it's been about almost two years. Or it will be. And in that time, my collection has um, doubled. <laughs> now, not all of these that I'm going to show today are specifically mine. Some of them are like my mom's or my brother's or just like family-wide Funkos. Um, but I wanted to share them anyway because they're Disney and I love them and I thought I would show them to you anyway. If you want to see the first half, if you will, of my collection video, you can check that out. I will link it up above in a card and down below in the description so that you can go and check that out. I remember thinking to myself when I was filming that, it's kind of weird that I don't have any Frozen Funkos because, you know, we love Frozen, I love Elsa, all that stuff, and I didn't have any, and now I have a lot of them. <laughs> I have a lot of them. To be fair, in that time, Frozen 2 did come out, so there's that, I suppose. <laughs> but anyway, let's jump on in because I've got a lot of Funkos to show you. I'm going to start with my non-Disney Funkos because I only have, I think, three to share with you. So let's do that first. First up, I'm going to show you my newest pop acquisition, which you saw me get if you watched my Shop With Me vlog where I went book shopping at Books A Million. I will link that down below as well. Um, and it's Clifford and Emily Elizabeth from Clifford the Big Red Dog. Now I grew up on Clifford. All of us did, my siblings and I. We read the books, we watched the shows, we just, they mean a lot to me and I knew I needed these. These are from the Pop Books collection and they're just so darn cute. Look, we match today. Clifford and me. So here they are together. There's Emily Elizabeth and here's Clifford. You can see Clifford's collar and I just love all of his little like fur fluffs, his tail. He's just so precious. If you don't know the story of Clifford the Big Red Dog, Clifford was a rather smallish puppy when he got adopted by Emily Elizabeth, this girl right here, who lives on Birdwell Island, but she loved him so darn much that he grew and grew and grew and now he lives in like his own like barn next to their house because he's too big to sleep in the house. It's a whole thing. It's adorable and I just love these two. Another two for one Funko that I have picked up is Wembley and Cotterpin. These two are from Fraggle Rock which is not technically Disney. I think I want to say Apple TV has it streaming? Maybe I'm wrong, but it's a Jim Henson production. I love Fraggle Rock. It's another one that we grew up on. Um, love Jim Henson, love the Muppets. Fraggle Rock is right up there with them. I found Wembley and Cotterpin together at a GameStop, I think, and I just saw them and I knew I needed to have them. There are other Fraggles out there and I would love to collect them all someday because I just love them, but Wembley is probably my favorite. So it works out that he's the first one I found. Look at his little Hawaiian shirt. Is he not the cutest thing ever? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Wembley is kind of the, um, if I'm remembering correctly, kind of the shy, quiet of the Fraggles. He's, he's a little more uh, just go with the flow kind of vibes. And then Cotterpin is a doozer and the doozers are the exact opposite of anything go with the flow. They work and they work and they work a lot. <laughs> <laughs> they enjoy it though, so so it's all good. This is just Abby educating you on all of my favorite children's shows. Turns out. And the last pop that I have that is not Disney is, you know, maybe one of my favorite pops. Like if I had to choose one, it's probably, probably this one just because she means so much to me. This is Jessica Fletcher from Murder, She Wrote, who's one of my favorite female characters just ever. I aspire to be her in my life. Everyone respects her. Everyone loves her. I just love Jessica, okay? I love Murder, She Wrote. I love Murder Mysteries, but Jess is the queen, in my opinion. And this Funko Pop is everything. <laughs> this released in a pop um, 80s collection, 80s TV collection. Um, and I just, the minute she was announced, I knew I needed to have her look at her, like, purse and her mystery solving flashlight and her sensible loafers. Are you kidding me? What a queen. What a queen. Oh, I'm so happy I have her. She is so special. You know what? The Marvel ones are staring me in the face and I've only got two and they're Christmas themed. So we're just going to do them real quick. First one is Captain America as a snowman 
Or Snowman is Captain America? Snowman is Captain America? I don't know. He's adorable, though. Look at this face. Look at him. He has a bobblehead. He's got the shield and the red, white, and blue scarf and mittens and the Captain America helmet on his head. He's so cute. And then the other Marvel Christmas bobblehead that we have is Baby Groot. Look at all the Christmas lights. Clearly he's gotten tangled up in the lights with a star on his head. He is a bobblehead as well and he's got a little wreath down here. It's just, he's so precious. I just love him so much. He's definitely one of my favorites of the Christmas collection. We will do Star Wars next because as you can see we've got two real big uh, Funkos here and then we've got one smaller one as well. If you can't tell my family is a little bit obsessed with the child and the Mandalorian in general but specifically <laughs> specifically the child. So we've got the small version, we've got the giant version, and we've got Mando who has a little version of the child with him as well. So yes, here is the small one and I just love the detail on here. He is a bobblehead as you can clearly tell, but look at all of the like wrinkling on his face and his little fur lined outfit. He's got his hand out. He's doing his force thing. He's just adorable and amazing. I just love this pop so much. So the big one is basically the same. Um, it's actually, yeah, no, it's exactly the same. It's just giant, just much, much bigger. Mando's really cool. He's very metallic, very reflective, um, but obviously he's got the child. He's got his like staff, all of his weaponry. His armor is so cool. I just think this is such a cool and detailed Funko that I just, I really love it. I think it's really, really neat. Next, I'm going to go to my other giant Funko. Literally, it's bigger than my head. I love him so much. Another one of my favorite, um, not technically Disney franchises, but Disney owns this now, I believe. Am I crazy? It's Indiana Jones. I love Indiana Jones so much. I've loved the franchise since I was a little kid. It's one of our dad's favorite franchises, and it's just always meant a lot to me. So when they released this giant indie in uh, celebration of, I want to say, the 35th anniversary of Indiana Jones' Temple of the Forbidden Eye at Disneyland, um, I knew I needed him in my collection, and I'm so happy that I have him. He's beautiful, he's huge, and I just love him so much. So you can already see the size on this guy, but let's look at the detail here. So we've got the idol from the first scene of Raiders. He's got a little satchel there. His whip is on this side. It's just so, so cool. His fedora looks amazing as always. He's just iconic. And look at his little shoes. Look at all the detail on his shoes. He's so cool. <laughs> He's the coolest. I hope I'm not flying through these too fast, but I just, I don't want this video to be a million years long. So next we're gonna go to the Disney Parks Funkos that I have which is not too many. I guess Indy would also count for that because he was technically a celebration of the ride at Disneyland. First up, let's talk about this fearsome foursome. These are the Dapper Dance. If the angle has changed, the battery died, which is just very rude. I wasn't done talking, camera. <laughs> I love the Dapper Dance. They're one of my favorite parts of Main Street USA. What can I say? I'm a simple girl. The way to my heart is tight harmonies and tap dancing. So I love these guys. I love their expressions, their poses, their colorful outfits. Let me show you these guys up close because they're so cute. First up we've got Red Dapper Dan with his black hair and adorable pose. Then we've got Yellow Dapper Dan with his brown hair and very dapper pose. Purple Dapper Dan with his red hair and very dapper pose. This is getting repetitive, but here we are. And the blue dapper Dan. I just look at the little, like all of the detail on their vests with the cuffs and everything. Oh, it's just amazing. And their hats are so cool. I just love these guys so, so, so much. They make me so happy. Okay, the next pop is for sure one of my favorites. I am so excited that I got one of these. I, I remember when these were announced and I was like, I need it. I need to have it. I need it in my life. If you're new here and you don't know, one of my favorite uh, Magic Kingdom attractions 
is the Jungle Cruise, and this is the Congo Queen with the Jungle Cruise Skipper Funko Pop. It is just, oh, it's so good. Look at the steam coming out of the, the stove down here. You've got all of the like seating all the way around. And here's the skipper and he's taking us on our jungle adventure. I just love the Jungle Cruise. One of my dream jobs at Disney when I was a kid was always to be a Jungle Cruise skipper. I don't know that that's gonna happen now, but like, I would love that. <laughs> so he's sitting on his little like seat down there steering the ship. It is just everything. I love this whole pop, the whole design, everything so, so much. And I'm so glad I have one in my collection. This was released, I believe Jungle Cruise had an anniversary last year. I can't remember what anniversary it was, but this was released for that and it was like, there was a ton of stuff that came out, the board game, a bunch of pins, all sorts of things came out, um, both in celebration of the anniversary and in the movie that didn't come out last year, got postponed to this year. And I'm very excited for it. Personally, I'm really looking forward to it. So I've got one more before I get into the giant Frozen Funkos collection. This is one of the more random ones in my collection. I just picked her out because she was pretty and she was on sale and I've actually not seen this movie yet, so... I have Clara from the Nutcracker and the Four Realms. This is just one of the most beautiful pops I've ever seen. She's just lovely. I love her dress and her crown. Look at how pretty she is. Can you see the sparkle on this skirt? It is just beautiful. And she's got these gorgeous bows in her hair and this cape that comes down the back. Her hair is so pretty. It's all like swooshed to the side. It's just beautiful. I have yet to see this movie, but I have several things of the merchandise just because the aesthetic is perfect. <laughs> it's so good for me. I just love it to death. So I had to pick this one up when she was on such a good deal because she's just so pretty. So now I just hope I like the movie because <laughs> otherwise it's gonna be a real sad time for me. Okay, we finally made it to what is honestly now probably one of my biggest Funko collections, which is weird because it's always been Winnie the Pooh and I still think technically, I don't know, I'd have to count if it's still Winnie the Pooh, but we have a lot of Frozen Pops and um, mainly this is because if you've been here any length of time, you know, Hope and I identify a lot with Anna and Elsa and we, the movies have meant a lot to us and since I did my last Funko collection, um, Frozen 2 came out and so all of the pop pops for that came out and it's one of my favorite Disney movies ever now so I have a lot of them. So let's get started. Let's start with these two besties because I just... I can't get over how cute Sven is. I can't get over how cute Sven is. Oh my gosh. I mean Olaf is very cute as well. Look he's in his like permafrost. He's got the little blue snowflakes all over him because he's in his like permafrost state from the second film. If you haven't seen Frozen 2 yet, what are you doing with your life? Don't walk, run. I'm not even kidding. It's on Disney Plus. You should watch Frozen 2. Look how cute Sven is. Are you kidding me? Look at him. So he's got the little um hourglass from the charades scene towards the beginning of the movie. He's got his little harness on. I just, I just can't, I can't get over it. He's so cute. And of course we can't have Sven without his best friend. So here is Kristoff with his loot and his little pointy toed shoes. Can you see those? They're so fun. Um, in all of his um, ice harvesting adventuring outfit glory. I just love the way he looks and how like textured his hair is. Ah, oh, Kristoff. He's one of our favorite Disney princes for sure. And then we've got Kristoff's true love, of course, Anna. I think, now I might be wrong, Hope might have another Anna pop that I'm not aware of, but I think this is the only one we have. I think she actually might have one that I didn't grab for this video, but this is Anna in her adventuring gear. This is kind of what she looked like on the first posters for the movie with the wind excuse me, Gail swooshing her hair. Look at this beautiful braided detail. It's so pretty. I love, I love her like purple capelet jacket thing. I just love this outfit. Honestly, if I could wear any Frozen 2 outfit, it's probably this or Elsa's like fifth spirit 
costume because I just think they're beautiful. And then we've got the first of my several uh, Elsa pops. This is Elsa in her adventuring gear. So she's got the cool like light blue boots and this awesome like walking capelet suit dealio. It's the coolest thing ever. Her hair again, beautiful braided detail and her little capelet on the back. Here's my second version of Elsa. This is her um, nightgown into the unknown outfit from the beginning of the movie. She's got one of the little crystals from the end of the song. This one I believe was an Amazon exclusive, um, but I this is one of my favorite of her outfits in the movie. I just love this nightgown. I think it's beautiful and it's almost got like a see-through um, detail on there. It's so cool. It's like very, um, makes it look very like sheer and flowy and beautiful like the dress in the movie. Then we've got baby Elsa or probably like eight to ten year old Elsa. I don't think it's ever actually specified how old Anna and Elsa are in the first scene of the movie in her gorgeous little nightgown with her slippers that match and her headband and her little braid that's very reminiscent of what she will wear her hair in as an adult. It's just so cute. And the last two pops in this collection video the very last ones, these are two Frozen 2 ones of The Knock. And the reason I have these is just because they're so pretty. They're so stunningly beautiful. I can't get over it. So this one is The Knock Frozen version. This is from the very end of the movie when Elsa um, ices over The Knock, who is like the water spirit if you didn't see the movie. Um, and it shows up in the form of a water horse. And this is from the very end of the movie, like I said, where Elsa ices it over. And I just, I love the snowflake detail on the back here. It has some like glitter in it, in the plastic. It's just so pretty. Um, I knew I needed to have it and I'm so excited that it's in my collection. And the final pop of this video is this Pop Rides Elsa riding the knock. Um, so this is from the scene where she first tames the water spirit and creates this like icy bridle. Starts riding it across the waves to get to Atahalan. It's just beautiful. Look at her hair like flying in the wind and her outfit also flying in the wind and this beautiful wave down here. It's just so pretty um, and I just love this whole design. I think it's just stunning. So like I said before, I obviously have more Disney Pops than this. I shared them all in that first collection video. So again, it'll be linked in a card and down below so that you can go and see the first half of my Funko collection. That's where all my Winnie the Pooh Pops are, my Figment Pops, Beauty and the Beast, all my other uh, Disney fandoms outside of just like Frozen and Disney Parks. Which frankly, I mean, Winnie the Pooh, Figment, Frozen, Beauty and the Beast, and Disney Parks, that's just my whole fandom existence if you want to know the truth of it. But anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below if we're Funko Twins. Do you have any of these pops as well? Or which one is your favorite out of the ones that I shared today? I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe down below for more Disney magic. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!